Again, and I am presenting on the myth of the crystal skulls. So here we go. So what are they? First off, um, they are a collection of four skulls, um, and they're each carved from a single piece of quartz. Um, they have alleged Mesoamerican, like Aztec and pre-colonial origins, like thousands of years ago. Um, and there are claims that they have um, been used for su supernatural powers and supposedly provide supernatural and like miraculous powers. And that includes healing, visions, and fatal spells. So, first skull, the M Mitchell Hedges skull. Um, it was discovered by this ex on this expedition by that was led by this English adventurer and writer Frederick Mitchell Hedges, and that was in like 1924 in um, the jungles of Belize. So he claims that they came upon these ancient Mayan ruins, and his daughter discovered this skull. It obviously uh, triggered a media firestorm, and it also started like kicked off so many different like legends and myths as I previously said um, and then also um, Anna later went on record saying that the skull showed her the future and it showed her like the assassination of President John F. Kennedy which was really interesting um, and then finally um, in 1943 um, Mitchell Hedges wrote a letter to his brother admitting that he actually purchased the skull from a London art dealer uh, named Sidney Burney. So our second skull is the British Museum skull. It first appeared in 1881. Um, the original owner um, was a man named Eugene Boban, and he actually, excuse me, he actually had a history of selling fake antiques, fake artifacts. So he was just like an all around shady dude, but <laughs> yeah, he had a history. And so yeah, he sold the skull to an entrepreneur named uh, George H. Sassoon um, after he moved to New York. So it hopped around a bit. Um, first, it was featured in this exhibit um, by the American Association for the Advancement of Science. Um, and then it was auctioned off to Tiffany & Co. And then sold to the British Museum in the late uh, 1890s. And right now, currently, it is recorded in the official museum chronology as probably European, 19th century AD, and inauthentic. So our third skull is the Paris skull. Um, this one's pretty straightforward. It um, it was also sold by Boban. Um, it features a hole um, built, drilled vertically through its center, um, and it is currently featured at the excuse me Musée de Quoi Branly in Paris, France. I hope I, I said that correctly. <laughs> um, our final skull is the Smithsonian skull. It was mailed anonym anonymously um, to the Smithsonian in 1992. Um, the donor like attached a note claiming that it had Aztec origins. It is the largest skull in the collection at over 30 pounds, um, and it is currently displayed also as a modern fake at the National Museum of Natural History. So what is the truth? Well, the truth is um, that none of them were discovered on official archaeological digs. So that's like the first, um, the first red flag right there. Um, secondly, the technology needed to make them simply, it did not exist, uh, quote, thousands of years ago, as, as Boban claimed, as like the anonymous, you know, sell, or donor claimed, as Mitchell Hedges claimed, none of that was true. Um, all four of them were examined through like actual scientific methods. Um, so for the Mitchell Hedges skull, um, it was, it was studied at, or, you know, studied, looked at at the Smithsonian and they found it had been carved with a high-powered rotary tool and a hard abrasive, uh, most likely diamond. Um, the scientific evidence found that the Smithsonian skull was carved with a modern abrasive called carborundum, and the British and Paris skulls were also made with like modern, like complex equipment. Um, so all in all, they're they're all made between the 18th and 19th century. Um, so these have also influenced popular culture, even though they were they've been debunked for for a minute. Um, so the most well known reference is the film Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull that was filmed in two thousand and eight, um, and it refers specifically to the Mitchell Hedges skull. Um, and then in Stargate, um, at season three, episode twenty one, uh, the plot is all about um, just this uh, skull from an alien planet. And then finally, another popular reference was a Disney show. It was called American Dragon, Jake Long. Um, the first half of their entire second season focuses on 13 Aztec crystal skulls that like give the, the owner one wish once they collect them all. And here are my sources. And thank you.